you're back, of course, um, in Spain. So a couple of matches that were one dear to my heart, though, two teams that I absolutely adore, which you know, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, um, still was a lot to play for because both of them wanted to secure their Champions League spots and they did it. We ended up seeing a draw, but who do you think would be happier? Hi, Alexis. Uh, thanks to everyone for joining us. Uh, well, this is the first time that you look so serious with me. Okay, don't know, worry about that. Weird. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, <laughs> strange. Anyway, yeah, uh, I think I let you go to Madrid and Seville. Uh, I think it was like the the most rivalry game of the of the of the whole weekend because you know they have like a rivalry between the crowd of Let You Go and and Sevilla fans. Um, and and it, I think there was like a, an extra ingredient for for Let You Go Madrid to take Sevilla out of the Champions League or at least. To, to delay uh, Sevilla to secure the uh, Champions League classification. So, you know, final draw, I think I think it was kind of fair uh, because Atletico Madrid did it really well in the first half, but in the second half of Sevilla, uh, they went up, you know, in their in their performance. And, and I think it was kind of kind of fair, I mean, the result. And, and, you know, the atmosphere, the ambient, it was great. And even though, you know, there's a big name on that, uh, on that game, Luis Suarez. It was his last Atletico Madrid at home game. And that's why you know everyone was saying him uh, goodbye you know paying a great tribute and tears yeah i mean that's why i always say that Atletico madrid knows perfectly how to make you know a farewell to the people i mean they they do it really really beautiful and they i mean they prepare everything so so nice you know uh taking care of all single details uh, that's why i think and i'm sure that luis suarez will take Atletico madrid in his heart forever I'm looking at the background of your shots and I'm so jealous that my background isn't as cool as yours, but we'll get there. We will get there. Yeah. Um, yeah, Luis Suarez, I suppose that was definitely the talking point. 34 matches uh, this season, 11 goals, two assists. I guess overall impact. Um, we know he was moved on from Barcelona probably when he didn't want to. We know he still has his house in Barcelona, but Atletico still made him feel like one of their own. How do you think? There in Madrid, how do you think he'll be remembered as one of the Los Grandes of Atleti or just as a good warrior? Yeah, I think he will be remembered as the, the hero of uh, last year's Liga, you know, when they won yeah. the Liga uh, again, you know, for the last time. And I think he was, uh, you know, mostly in the first half of the season, he was outstanding. I mean, he was like the guy that came from Barcelona with a broken heart, as you mentioned, uh, and say like, okay, I'm here to say and to prove Barcelona that they were uh, wrong about my about their decision of taking me out of the, of the team. And he didn't, um, and he proved that he's still a top striker a top player and the thing is that you know after two years uh, we know that the role of Luis Suarez last I mean this season it hasn't been like you know like the proper one for for him and, and even for Atletico Madrid and that's why he he's leaving but the thing is that he still wants to to play for for a big big club in Europe uh, before moving to for example MLS or some kind of uh, similar leagues and um, he still wants to prove that he's the man that he's a striker but let's see if physically if uh, uh, he's fit enough to, to be there because, you know, in this season, he was kind of, you know, uh, struggling with that, you know, yeah. all, mostly outside of the, of the area box. I mean, he's, he's 35 years old. Um, yeah. I'm 33 and I, I feel my body breaking down. So I can only imagine. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube for more highlights, analysis and exclusive content. Be sure to subscribe.